Hello again YouTube, I uh, figured I would go on and uh, move on to the next video of the long range project. I know in my previous video I said that we were probably going to start working on the antennas on the Vision Plus back there and ignore all the napkins, shirts, I usually lay a sock on this one that I lay across my phantoms when I'm not using it but they tell you not to leave the battery in them, I like to leave the, something to cover the back so dust can't get in there. Uh, but today, instead of talking about modifying antennas, I think it's a good time to go ahead and talk about adding tracking to your DJI Phantom. This is any of the Phantoms. 1, 2, Vision, Vision Plus, FC40, any of them. And this is a highly recommended thing that I think that you should do regardless of whether you modify your Phantom for long range or not. I've done this since about the beginning of times with mine and that's adding you know tracking to it so that if it goes down you can find it and how do you do that well here we are there's a company called tag and they make a thing that's called a pet tracker this here's your pet tracker and what it does is it runs on the Verizon network the GSM network and GPS at the same time and allows you to track your animal you it comes with different you know mounts that you put this thing on see here it's got quick release clips on the side that you squeeze um, you mount the mounts on a collar and these things are virtually indestructible they're waterproof you know to a certain extent they're, they're pretty tough and they're, they can be beat around they're they're just really tough good strong devices but what I use mine for is I stick it on my DJI Phantom and it costs about $9.95 a month I think is what I pay but when you first buy it you usually get you know six months free or 12 months free and they're actually coming out with a newer model in March that's supposed to tell you things like um, you know what if it's the temperature outside uh, is supposed to improve the battery life which doesn't really matter for me because I just leave it off while I'm not using it I put it on my dog one day and she put it through heck so I just decided to keep it nice and clean like I like to keep my phantoms uh, just decided to take it back off because she doesn't go anywhere but um anyways it, it'll um you just leave it off for the most part if you're not flying your phantom and when you get ready to fly you turn it on and I'm going to show you how you mount it onto your thing onto your phantom but uh anyways it comes with a docking station they recommend what you're supposed to do is you get on the application and you draw a circle around an area or you drag a circle out to your home zone which is where your dog's supposed to be at and you leave this thing plugged in all the time and what it does is it, you can text your tracker you can text it location uh battery and it'll tell you you know, my battery level's high, or I'm in the t home tag zone, or something like that. And it, it allows the tracker to go into, like, a sleep mode while it's closer to the docking station while it's in that circle. But if she goes outside of the circle, then it sends you a text message automatically and says, you know, hey, I'm outside of my home tag zone. You can click locate, or you can, you can get on the app and either just click locate, or you can text it and say locate. And it'll send you a map, you know, where it's at, things like that. Um, but what, you, what happens is when you leave this thing plugged in, um, if you're in the home tag zone like this, and you're flying your Phantom, and you click locate, all it's going to do is say, boo, I'm in the home tag zone, and it won't do any kind of tracking. So what you're going to have to do is just keep this thing unplugged at all times. But when you keep it unplugged at all times, then it starts draining the battery down faster on this, but it's not enough to like you know just suck it all down, and it would take a long time for it to even drain it down that way. But what I'm just telling you is, charge it by you know here putting it on here until it changes colors, and it'll text you um, on your phone whenever it's done charging. But charge it and then unplug this thing when you're done. Don't use it because I've ran into an issue one time where I landed in the woods, and it was in the home tag zone it was back here <laughs> basis over here it wouldn't track it so I had to unplug it and wait for a few minutes for it to update so that I could actually track it so I just don't even plug it in anymore but anyhow I'm going to show you now how you mount this thing um, 
trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you about it. I can show you real quick. Let me show you how instant this thing usually is. You hold the button down until she lights up blue. And you wait just a moment. Let's see. Oh my ELG G2. Uh, it's usually pretty instant. It's probably going to make me look like an idiot today. But um, it will let me know on the app because actually it's kind of annoying sometimes whenever I turn it on, whenever I just get out there to fly because it interrupts my phantom flight by telling me that, or interrupts my what I'm doing by telling me that, hey, my tracker's turned on and blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah. It's going to make me look like an idiot. But it's going to come through, I promise. But uh, anyways, just hang, it, hold it back down because I like to keep mine turned off until it turns red. And then you're off. Um, before I show you how you mount this, this thing is great. Like I said, um, when it goes down, it's pretty freaking cool. You um, click on the app and it shows a map. It'll give you driving directions, walking directions, bicycle directions, whatever you need. It'll show you on the map where this thing's at. And it shows you like in a dot. Just say it's over here. It's going to show like a, I don't know, like an, an orange dot. And it's going to show you like a blue dot. And if you turn, your arrow is always going to be pointing towards the tracker like that. Until you just walk to it. And it took me, I mean it took me right and dead on the money right to where it needed to be. Um, so, like I said, very recommended and it lasts it would last for days if your phantom were to fall but it will take you to your it will definitely take you to your phantom okay so how do you mount this thing let me show you here real quick in the box you're gonna get these collar clips that look like this and you're supposed to run some type of um, rubber band around it or something that the collar runs through I can't remember how it works but I just took some industrial strength velcro and I stick it on there just like that. See? Mount it right behind in, on all my phantoms. In between the battery and the camera. And it's a perfect open space. And then, I don't know if I'll be able to do this on the phone. I'm, well, I'm holding the camera here, so let me lay it down for a moment. I'm going to show you what it looks like once she's installed. Very simple. Like I said, you squeeze the tabs. And they hit, they hook around the two little uh, prongs that are on the collar mount. Hang on just a moment show you what it looks like once it's installed when you install it try to install the the light facing you so that you don't have to look under it when you do it you can see the uh, you can see the the light shine on your finger I'll show you what I'm talking about this is after it's been installed uh, put the light towards the battery so that when you reach down with your finger and you turn it on you can see the the light remember how it turns blue it'll shine blue on your finger or it'll shine red on your finger so that you're not having to um, pick it up and be like, hey, is it on? Things like that. But, uh, yeah, that's what she looks like when it's installed. It doesn't go anywhere. See? Looks perfect under the back back there. It fits. It looks like it's almost made for a DJI Phantom, to be honest with you. I mean, it curves around perfectly. Uh, it hangs on very well. I've been, when I did the two and a half mile flight, it was on there. So, um, yeah, that's what you need to do. Uh, you can get multiple tiles. I meant well, tiles. I have a tile also. If I've been saying tile, I apologize because I have a tile to find my keys. But uh, you can get multiple pet trackers. Uh, I think you go to PetTracker.com to get this thing. Um, or you can go to eBay. Um, but you can get multiple ones if you want to fly multiple units at the same time. And I think it may even get a little cheaper as you add them to the plan and they'll... I'll be on the app and you can click which one you want to track or whatever. But um, I just uh, have one and I just swap it around from Phantom to Phantom. So, I guess that's about all I have to tell you about it. Just, in my opinion, before you do any type of long range flying, you know, get this thing. And I don't know why, sometimes, I don't know why it's not, you know, sending a, a text message to me right now. But... I promise you it works great. Um, put my sock back. Put my sock back over my battery compartment here. But uh, yeah, that's it. Just get you a pet tracker. And you won't have to worry about any more flyaways or anything like that. And it doesn't interfere with the 
transmitter or the antennas on the quadcopter or the Wi-Fi video. It's not anything to do with that. So I uh, just thought I'd put that out there before we move on to the the next step of modifying the antennas, whether that be I'm not sure if I want to do the the Wi-Fi antennas or the actual transmitter antennas yet for the next video so kind of trying to get gutsy enough to do it I guess because I didn't want to butcher up my vision plus at all I kind of wanted to leave it all stock but for instructional purposes I guess I may end up having to do it anyway so all right well I'll holler at you later thanks for watching my video again